Hey, you do this, Alex, and I'm in the Toronto Comic Con. <laughs> Natalia and it's been a while since we've seen each other and that really sucks but March break was hectic but with me being on the other side of the country and then you couldn't come the last day of Toronto Comic Con and I know it's the last day and the last day of these things apparently suck well if that is a general rule I'm gonna have to say that Sunday was an exception yes there were way fewer people than when we were at Fan Expo last summer but it was so much fun so I went with Kasha and my friend Kelsey and my sister Maddie. So we got to do tons of awesome stuff. We got to meet some really awesome people, celebrity, and just general nerds. And we got to buy a lot of stuff. But some of that stuff was just amazing. Like, there aren't words for some of the stuff we got to do. Akasha and I went into a booth where they were selling action figures for $5 a piece. Now, you know that I definitely have an appreciation for you're familiar with my one-legged Buffy. But, for five bucks, I got a super opposable Smeagol. Look at his creepy little toes. Also, Cash and I walked by a Harry Potter area, an area completely decked out like the Great Hall, sort of, in Harry Potter. So, of course, we checked it out. What it was, was uh, people from Lego Harry Potter were advertising the game. And to do that, they were taking free pictures. So. Since it was free, and Harry Potter, we all got pictures taken, and they look like this. People would line up. You'd get a robe, a scarf, glasses, and a wand to pick up. The people there, in charge of the booth, seemed pretty impressed with me. And they said that's because I brought my own Gryffindor scarf. So I got something out of that. A free Deathly Hollows t-shirt. So I mentioned earlier that we got to meet some really great people. As all my friends know, I am obsessed with anything Joss Whedon, especially Buffy. So we all met Nicholas Brennan, who is Xander, and he signed season 6 because it's the season where he basically just saves the world, and he made it out to my sister and I. Also met Mercedes McNabb, who isn't on the cover here, but she plays Harmony. We also met Claire Kramer, who plays Glory in season 5, and she signed a picture for my sister because I forgot to bring the DVDs. Now fairly recently, my uncle has gotten me into Battlestar Galactica, so he lent me the complete series on DVD. And we've had it for months, and I'm still not done yet. I'm about halfway through the third season, so no spoilers please. But we met this guy, Aaron Douglas, who plays the Chief. And as a present to my uncle and his girlfriend, I got the box set signed for him. Comic-Con is a great place to be. Like, I know you went to Fan Expo, and that was great, but I don't know, there's just something about Comic-Con. Like, even if you aren't a nerd at all, you know what Comic-Con is. But if you aren't a nerd, you probably think it's a place where losers dress up and hang out with each other. And in a sense, I guess that's what it is, but I wouldn't call anyone there losers. Pretty much everyone I saw was winning. There were people dressed up as stormtroopers, as Darth Vader, as Ghostbusters. It's pretty much anything you could really imagine. I swear to God, I saw at least eight Doctor Whos. Well, I might not like or love every single thing that was being celebrated there, I do understand the love that these people have for these things. Since I was really young, I became obsessed with things like Buffy, with Angel, and then as I grew older, I got really into Supernatural, into Firefly, into Dollhouse, into so many amazing things that people, they might watch casually and not really care too much about, or they might not watch at all and they just dismiss it as something lame. But at things like Comic Con or Fan Expo or whatever sort of convention or conference you might go to with you, by yourself or with your friends, there's just an atmosphere you can barely describe. It's just filled with so many people having a great time celebrating things that they love, celebrating things that have helped them through hard times, have made good times better, or have even made friendships or anything. When you really love something, it could be a TV show, it could be a comic book, when you really love something, that makes you happier, it makes you a better person, it fills your life with great things. And when you're filled with these great things, you want to share them with people, and it's a great way to bond with people. And these places, they're just a great place to be. It's just, no one was ever rude, 
No one is judging you for what you like or for who you are, for who they think you are. Everyone is just so friendly and everyone's there to have a good time and to celebrate. It's not a birthday, it's not a holiday. It's a celebration of awesome. And in my books, that is good any day. So Natalia, I'm really sorry that you weren't there. And I'm sorry if this video doesn't make a lot of sense. And I can't wait to see you. Yeah. I like the Yoda one. Oh, no, I see it. Okay. I like the Batman like one. Yeah. Oh, you have 40 left. I didn't see it's folded. All getting matching ones. Alright. <laughs> yeah, Hi, how you doing? I'm uh, oh, like great. Uh, <laughs> Cash is creeping again. <laughs> what I do. Toronto, yay.